Little Ops, you're not included! Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and we are in the LZ Alpha. We're waiting for this lava to turn into a slickster right here. These guys, of course, taking all the carbon dioxide from this coal power plant up here and turning it into tasty, tasty uh, oil products down the bottom. We are going to be able to deal with this at some point today. In fact, I'm going to come into my research up here and we are going to first center the map. Wow, that was very weird. But we're going to go for fossil fuels. Mainly the thing that I want here is the oil refinery so that we can then put stuff into the petroleum generator and then maybe later on in the game we can get some plastics on the go. But right now we are going to watch this guy. Oh, look at him get born. Let's throw that out of there. I'm also going to turn this off here so it's not constantly complaining about a lack of things to do. Maybe at some point we'll use this incubator again for other animals to be moved around. I might even actually put a, uh, a breeding center in inside somewhere uh, and then we can breed with the incubator and then move the gun. Oh look he did a little he did a little mess. Look at that beautiful. Uh, and then we could move the incubator, uh, the animals from the incubator to their prospective ranches. I, I think that might actually be a way to work out. Mad Frank coming through and doing all the builds here. We have a lot of people going around doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, we have uh, Forest over here doing a little bit of a clean, uh, no, sorry, uh, doing a research. The clean and tidy, of course, are run by a Luna Cop, wherever she is. That's misaligned. Over here we have Decipher. There is Luna running around and getting everything. Of course, uh, everybody in here are working towards the same end, which at the moment is actually just to finish all these builds off. And I think I'm going to just let these guys go around and finish the builds. I might even, let's go into the research and turn that off just for a moment, because I really want to get these other builds finished. One of the things that we set up last time was this uh, rusty oxidizer here. And there's a few things I want to do to make this run a little bit smoother. The first thing I want to do is slap a storage bin down there. We're going to move all the rust and such forth into that one. This means we also want to come up to uh, the all all the standard storage that we have up here and in consumable all we got rust uh, I'm gonna accept that thanks very much and then with this gonna copy the settings across all of them uh, nothing should have fallen out of those but I'm interested to see whether anything's gonna fall out of these no no rust in the base at the moment that's nice to know though gonna also apply some settings right there so with the lack of any rust in the base I'm gonna go through and we're gonna start wiping out little bits of this system over here you can see the main thing that's going on is we are pumping oxygen in and that pump oxygen is getting pumped into the base pretty nice I think I would actually like to bring some more up into the breathing room up here or as we call it the bedroom uh, but also there are some more things I would like to do I am gonna filter off with some chlorine the fact that we only should have oxygen and chlorine in here should mean that I don't actually need to do this step but I want to be super secure in all the things that I do. Is this not ready to be taken out? If we could just take that out as well, please, man. Frank, thanks very much. We're going to throw the gas filter down like this. And it looks like we actually need to connect them up. Beautiful. Okay, so power is also uh, a want. This is this is one of the things that I always forget is that power is actually <coughs> a thing that is needed. Now, over in the utilities, we have the ore scrubber. It's literally the only thing I can think to do with any of the... No, was I not allowed to have two? Uh, with any of the uh, chlorine. Uh, and a good thing to remember here is this is a utility tunnel way, so I could quite easily just go, hey, ventilation, let's get a gas pipe out, and I'm just going to go like this, all the way across and go one down. Now, I could have run them through on the same line, didn't want to do that, as the ore scrubbers, uh, but that would then mean that it will come along and if we aren't getting a consistent flow of chlorine, it will all just get dumped in that one. Uh, and I'm not about that. I'm about nice sharing of resources. That's the gas pipe I want. And we're just going to cancel that build. And then all the way over here, got one that we also want to cancel build. All right, so I'm going to get back to just letting these guys do their thing. Look at that mad Frank immediately on it. Is that because we've got a high priority? No, it's just where we're at with the build. Oh, crazy. Okay, so this machine here converts rust and salt into iron ore and oxygen. So uh, first I need to go through and dechlorinate this. But I also want to go through the consumable and we want to have salt at... Salt, thank you. And a rust kept right here. And that should mean that there's less moving about that is necessary. Man, Frank, getting the jobs done over this side. I'm not sure whether we want to put a doorway up here or just let all the gases flow. I'm not, yeah, I'm actually not sure. We'll wait and see what I want to do there. It's saying that things are not done. I have made my selections. There is power going in and there is uh, pipes out and in. So I guess we just, oh no, wait, there's not pipes out and in. This is the, this is the wrong place, guys. This is the wrong place. Okay, much better. The chlorine now comes out after being filtered into this route, and then anything else, which at the moment should be nothing, gets vented out this side. Okay, the system appears to somewhat work. Let's open up here. It said it did a sort, but I didn't see what it sorted. It doesn't look like anything went through. 
Uh, okay, I saw some chlorine there on the pipe, went through, went down. Is any of it going to get thrown out at the bottom? We're saying pipe's blocked. Is that because there's nowhere for it to go? Okay, so that should now work beautiful. Now, does this, the ore scrubber, need power? It doesn't. Okay, cool. So we should be able to just get everything nice and clean going in and out of the base now. Typical. Typical. Let's deconstruct that one. Uh, actually, at the highest highest prob probability if we can tile nine beautiful because unfortunately mad frank was coming to do a good job decided that he wanted to bury one of the slicksters i'd really like to get him out of there if possible you know what let's just do that on the uh, the yellow alert there it's not red alert of course that's up there I completely forgot about that until someone was like hey you remember that's up there right and i was like you know what i didn't but i was complaining about how the yellow alert just doesn't seem to uh, have the punch that red alert used to and they were like it's still there like, yeah, it is still there. <laughs> I was just having a look around the base, being like, oh, having these cold biomes next to me is a little bit weird. And also scanning around, being like, oh, that's a nice hot thing over there. And down here, we've also got another nice hot thing. And then I was like, what's this over here? If we come out of that, you can see there's a whole bunch of salt water. I think we've got ourselves another one of those salt geysers right there. Oh, wait, wait, salt water. No, it doesn't actually tell me, but I, I, I think just back there somewhere there might be a salt geyser on the go. Something to watch out for. Something to watch out for. Anything else that I really want to keep an eye on? I don't I don't think there is. Like, I'm, I'm interested to know why this abyssalite is super hot. But no, it looks like that might be the only thing that is hidden in the background. Okay, here we go with the attempt to build this tile without crushing the slicks. All right, beautiful, beautiful. It worked well. So most of today has been spent watching Mad Frank go around and build these structures up top. The, the main problem that appears to be here is the fact that he needs to be the one to go and get all the ignorant, igneous rock. I was kind of hoping that Luna or someone like that would actually be doing the supply, but it turns out that is not the case. If we go to the priorities, we're going to have a look over here. Supply looks like no one actually has that job. So let's go with Luna and maybe low priority misaligned. Misaligned obviously is still much, much higher priority on the... Uh, on the digging here. Why does that go all the way to nothing? Ah, because it goes around. Okay, and then that goes down to zero. Okay, it's it's a looping system. I can suppose that we can allow uh, this. Now, is Mad Frank still the one who's going around to get all the jobs? I don't know, maybe. At the same time, people are trying to fill up the storage compactors on the left. So who knows? M maybe, maybe someone will come along to help him? Maybe not. I don't think it's gonna happen by the end of day 38 though. Okay, one of these uh, buildings has gone out of order. One of the outhouses have gone out of order. I want to disable. I want to do all the cleaning that we can to do so. And then I want to rip it down. I want to take it out of there. We're going to start the upgrade to the nicer toilet system today. And I think... If I look over here, we've got some warm areas that we can take advantage of. We've also got some heat down here that we can take advantage of. But right now, we're just going to build a little uh, recycling system over there. We're going to get nasty water out. The first thing we're going to do is change it. Let's get the sieve. There is a refinement option here somewhere. Uh, we're going to put down one of these sieves. That's the first thing that's going to happen is all the water is going to come out and get turned into not polluted water. Because uh, food poisoning, which comes out of almost all of these items here, is spread by polluted water. It will carry on carry on growing nicely in polluted water but in normal water it will not so we're going to make a nice big tank over here to move the water around in fact we're going to go with a plumbing we're going to get a liquid pump down here and we are going to try and seal this off but of course we can't because bar lilies I set these gas pipes over here onto a massive priority because they're the ones that are taking the oxygen and still we're having troubles over here with the bedroom being quite unbreathable. So hopefully when these last few jobs get put into place, we see that it's actually down to people making the deliveries. But when that gets put into place, these last two pipes, we should see the oxygen flow. Okay, putting down extra gas pipe seems to mess with the simulation that's going on here. But it's quite interesting, it seems that only half the oxygen that is coming through actually ju jumps down into this gas vent over here. So we should get vast majority of the oxygen coming out here, and already we have a nice high uh, concentration of oxygen right up there. Beautiful. Another day of watching Mad Frank again going around and doing all the dirty jobs right now in the middle of the water supply. A little bit worried about how we are running out of water here, but you know, that these are things to watch and figure out. Uh, I'm just wondering whether we've got the research, the air systems, the rust, the oxidizer is good over here. This is all uh, last time's uh, technology by the look of it. Let's have a look in the actual research screen again. You can see that we've done the fossil fuel. Beautiful. That is actually one of the major things that we are after. But I would also like to come down this way. 
One of the things that we can start heading towards, but is actually very far away, is this Thermo Aqua Tuna. I would like to get that because it allows me to start moving heat around. We've got a lot of heat down here, and I've got a feeling the stuff down here is going to produce stuff that is full of a lot of heat. But we've got our wastewater pro uh, place plant, is the word I'm looking for, started to be put together up here. So maybe we can move the waste heat from here up into there to cook the water and then pump it back in. I don't know. I am just trying to go come up with a few plans right now. In essence, we're going to have a system very much like this on the other side. We're going to have the water sieve turning the dirty water, the polluted water, sorry, into clean water. We then throw that into a heating tank where, if you look down here, the heating has taken this up to above 40, 40 degrees uh, and we're losing a third of the gems every cycle. A third. So that that's the plan. It might also be a plan to try and get this polluted water out of here. If we do that and then this, maybe we can mop it up afterwards. I'm, I'm hoping so because, man, tight, tight errands here. Tight, tight squeezes. Cycle 39 and our Slickster has grown up into an adult. I don't know whether that happened at five or six, but it has happened indeed. But we are wild but groomed. Is that a way that that's actually going to be working? Let's have a look at the wildness score here. Is that anywhere? There we go, 39% and dropping down severely. Well, the reason that we want these guys to be not wild, or as we call it, tamed, uh, is so that we can get more eggs. Eggs are definitely what we're after, eggshell in particular. Uh, also, I feel like we can get some more bad, bad guys, no, some more mobs in here. Uh, I'm not sure how many more we could fit in, but uh, more we could most definitely can. If I have a look at the room overlay here, does it tell me how big the room actually is? It doesn't. Uh, oh, room size, 64 tiles, but we can go up to 96. Okay, a lot of stuff fell into place with that last bit of research. You can see we've got the petroleum generator, the natural gas generator, and we want to move a couple of these down this way. I think we're going to have, like, six maybe down here. That would be pretty cool. And in the refinement, we've got the oil refinery, which I think we're going to end up having just underneath here, and then we can move the petroleum wherever we want. Ideally, obviously, we would actually have this coming down to a hot source down below, and then the petroleum, if we have a look on here, the uh, oil, let's find the oil. Uh, if I click on the fuel, view the database, uh, you can see that petroleum actually comes in at about 300 degrees. So that's something that we need to watch out for here. If we hit the petroleum again you can see uh, petroleum is a source of power uh, evaporates it evaporates at a lot lower degree a lot lower temperature than it splits into petroleum I suppose that does actually make sense oh no no sorry my, my mistake it turns at 400 degrees and then is uh, evaporated at three at 500 so it's quite a thin margin of error there for us to work with I'm wondering whether we actually want to drop this ladder all the way down and start doing the same sort of situations we've got over here where we're trying to get as low as possible to hit hit the heat maybe maybe it'd be nice if we had i don't know some other things that produce heat but this this is not even getting close to the right amount of heat is it things are going well on this side of the base the hatch keeps on producing more eggs this is good more eggs mean more steel uh, down here we have got decipher grooming well decipher was grooming the slicks and everyone seems to be producing an ample amount of oil look at that that is going uh, beautifully over this side though uh, people don't seem to want to be digging though we have nearly got the entirety of these storage drawers done up top I think something that I might do quickly is grab a, gra a gas pump, pop that down there, get some gas bridges, come up and across, not gas bridges, gas pipes, sorry, and do this. Obviously, it will need power as well, because I want to clear all this chlorine out that we spilled earlier on without actually, like, having the plan. Now that we have a plan, it's time to try and pick it all up and put it in the right place. If we pick up carbon dioxide and it gets put in there, that's okay, because it will just fall out of this gas vent and carry on on its way down. Maybe we actually want to have another airflow tile on this side of the vent, just in case, but you know want to make sure that it all happens the way that we want it to any more digging going on over here not a single bit miss line seems to think that moving stuff around is more important i suppose technically i did ask her to supply some stuff maybe that's not what we wanted to do now that i stop and think about it okay priorities let's come in here mess a line let's turn the supply down digging should have been much higher priority okay that is that is the pro the problem there digging was not of a high enough priority for her so of course she goes and disinfects the toilet i mean what what <laughs> Okay, the digging seems to be coming back to her bones, and we are digging freely. Now, is she going to go down 
like where we want her to be. Yes, yes, and yes. All right, beautiful. This is going to put everything exactly back on track. Talking about back on track, let's come over here. Let's get these natural gas generators. Obviously, we're going to be getting all the natural gas that is in there, and we're going to move them out over this way. Now, I believe there is actually a maximum size we want for down here somewhere. The power plant. Okay, the power plant. Maximum size tile is 96. What's a nice, easy way of splitting up 96? You know what? I don't know. Let's count this. Oh, that's 10 high. That's, that's not a very nice and easy number to work with, but we will try it anyway. One, two, three. Those barm ladies are very in the way. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's a nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll come down here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, we've just spent all night on yellow alert because, oh man, we have a toilet issue down here. Hopefully, we're just going to immediately get on that, guys. Immediately. Like straight away? Yeah, it looks like straight away. Let's also put this uh, on the top right. So the building being disabled means that you can't clean it. I don't like that, actually, because I would like to be able to destroy it as well at some point. Okay, so now that that's happened, did we just have someone make a mess? We did just have someone make a mess. Mad Frank, my boy, what are you doing? Hopefully that's good enough. Okay, let's take the priority back down to nine. What's that achievement? Oxygen occluded. Where are you? Where are you? All the way down there. Have at least one. No, no, we did that one. Distribute a thousand kilograms of oxygen and using gas vents. I did it. I did it, guys. Woo. Okay, all the toilets are being cleaned. Now, this one's going to get a bit of a deconstruct after it's done. Uh, I was actually hoping that we could uh, clean it rather than destroying it. But okay, fine. We'll, we'll just let it all spill everywhere. Because, like, what else did we want, right? What else? Uh, it works out all right. It works out all right. Uh, in the plumbing, we have an actual toilet. And I want to start thinking about where the actual toilet is going to have its actual stuff going. Now, do we want clean water up top? I think we're going to have clean water up top and dirty water down below. So the dirty water is going to come along and it's going to go... Wait. <clears throat> So, someone might have put this down the wrong way again. Actually an idiot. Don't mind me. So this is the out. Let's go down that way and let's move this up into there. And then this is going to want to get dumped somewhere. Uh, I am assuming almost immediately into a warm zone. We kind of want to move it all the way over here before we then start thinking about dumping it. Uh, I then want to have a liquid pump coming out. Thanks for... Ah, I can't, I can't place it. Woo, research complete. That's brilliant. Liquid uh, insulated pipe shut off of reservoir and hydro sensor. Uh, those are nice. I do want those, but we're going to have to set up a whole bunch of new stuff as well. In fact, I'm thinking about it now. We also want to have this whole computer line, right? We want to want to get all the way down to the RS and all that if we can. Okay, a little bit annoyed that this has not been done yet. So uh, in all good formats, I'm going to pump it up to a nine. I'm also going to pump this up to a nine. And hopefully Matt Frank will come along and do all the building because that's who we need to come along and do all the building. Let's actually go, go on the gas pipe. Let's have a look on the errands. Uh, no? Okay. So, someone is doing it, but we don't know where. Mad Frank and Luna <laughs> arguing about who cares least about these jobs over here. Uh, looks like Mad Frank's actually coming in to do some of the jobs. Okay, that's actually a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. It must be the power wires. Let's go have a look. Errands, yes, indeed. That is what's going on. Mr. Line can't reach it, though. Why not? Because you're on the other side of the base, and it turns out two doors is too much. No, no, it's this. It's this right here. Wait, that, just put that back into place, please. You, you need to be able to get out because at some point you're going to start suffocating. And I am not about having suffocating with Duke Cooks when all you need to do is just do the tiles. Why won't you do the tiles? Instead of providing a landline, so all she's done is gone and made it more awkward to get out. Maybe I want to build some ladders here just so like, when she really gets stuck, there is a way for her to escape. All the igneous rock is going into the liquid pipe. This is not great, miss. i got to say, if, if you're trying to save your life, you're not doing very well at it. Breath is going down all the time. 78, 77. Now this, this, this is going to get bad pretty soon. This is going to get bad pretty soon. Let's come over here. Let's do one of these and let's, um, let's try and get every other one on a high priority if we can because let's be honest we want to get these guys out of here uh if someone could do the build see this is the problem you're already running out of oxygen this is going to be a serious serious problem at some point though i suppose you do come over and make it all good forest coming along to do the job that nobody else will do you know he's just that type of man he looks at the work that's going down and is like no one else is doing the important job so he comes along and is like yeah i will make the world right and then when he does that everyone else is like oh I'm not letting you have all the uh, the glory there. This is actually my turn to come and save the uh, save the colony. And if it was your turn, why weren't you here beforehand? That's my big question. That is indeed my big question. Uh, Forrest is like, yeah, I'm just going to grab the algae and get out of here. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. We've got a whole bunch of new uh, automation stuff 
uh, down here. But I'm just, I'm just going to leave those because, you know, honestly, I'm more worried about the plight of these guys. They seem to be able to get back out now, so that's pretty good. Though nobody, nobody is paying attention to this one little tile here. I'm not sure why. Even. Okay, here we go. Um, you know, we can find out why. There we go. It's the cipher. That's why. Okay, crisis averted. Everyone's come to uh, drop off some algae. Beautiful. Beautiful. They're technically not, not even needed anymore because we've got, like, this vent over here and this vent down here. I suppose we could move this vent up to this lot and then all the oxygen will, like, diffuse around and stuff. It looks a little bit... A little bit blue up there. We could go do with it being a bit, a little bit, a little bit more white. But you know, whatever. That's fine. Look at this unbreathable stuff down here. It's not actually all carbon dioxide either. It's a fair amount of uh, chlorine. Now, I was under the impression that a slickster would eat enough carbon dioxide to deal with this one coal generator. Just a single slickster should be enough to do that. How are we doing on the wildness? This might be why, because uh, when creatures are tame, they're uh, metabolism and the egg rate and stuff like that it goes up by I think it's a factor of six but I might be wrong but it is an incredibly large number oh look this guy's got zero uh, zero wildness on the go he's a uh, health 25 happiness four. nice uh, reproduction cycle has gone up through the roof uh, I should imagine that's also going to go a much better and uh, down here okay here we go the change per cycle um, because I'm a lava it's less I don't know about that metabolism is zero percent though I also don't know about that Oh, he made a bet. Literally, just as we stopped talking, blup, blup, drop it down. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we're so close to getting the body temperature back up. This is 19.9. All the others should hopefully be, yeah, 21. And over here, we've got a 20. Of course, most of the heat coming from this area over here. Let's have a look. It is quite warm over here, but we have got non-insulated gas pipes. So I should imagine that all the heat is slowly just going to be making its way through. There does appear to be a little bit more heat coming through uh, these 20 degrees, 22 degrees, stuff like that. But it would be nice to uh, have a, a bit more of a serious warming on the go. I'm not sure exactly what temperature I want to keep the at. Sounds like 20 degrees is the winner. I've noticed that this mopping has not been done. That's kind of important because we've got a whole bunch of food poisoning up there and I'd really like that to be taken care of. I am taking the supply off of Miss Align for now because it turns out she'd rather move dirt around than try and come and get these works done. Uh, I suppose that's all right, but I think I'd like her to be building a little more. Is that actually something she has skills in? Back onto the priorities here. Miss Align, let's have a look. Building? No. Who does have better building skills? Forest. Oh, but you're so so useful elsewhere. Let's actually put up uh, Miss Align's building just, just a smidge. Much more interested in doing like life support and uh, attacking and the digging, but just a little bit of build priorities there. Okay, I spot people doing this quite a lot, and when it's from people like Mad Frank, I am not interested. So let's deconstruct that, uh, because we're getting enough oxygen. We're getting definitely enough oxygen. Maybe even get rid of this old wire here. Deconstruct that as well, thank you very much. Because Mad Frank, really, just, just come and build this pump, man. All right, much, much, much better. I do know that we are now, like, down in the carbon dioxide layer. Maybe I actually wanted to make the pump up near the top because chlorine seems to float on top of all that. If we press the F7, yeah, we've got an awful lot of carbon dioxide going through that, which uh, is not the end of the world. We're going to watch it go through the system here, maybe. It's, we're going to get a lot of, like, blocked pipes going on. That's fine. That's cool. We can live with it. And it gets vented out. Now, is this going to just immediately fall back down? I really wish we had the original gas overlay. I'd like to see what all my different gases are doing. I don't just want to know what oxygen's doing. I want to know what the chlorine slash the carbon dioxide is doing. Uh, I'm sure you I'm sure you guys see what I mean. I might even, now that I've taken a moment to look at the setup, uh, go for a gas pump over this side as well and we'll get the gas bridge going like over this way. And this this should maybe fix a few things. Okay, we're starting to get some chlorine through. This is what we're after, is just starting to clear out as many of the different gases as we can so that we are dealing just with a clean, fresh atmospheres all around. All right, I definitely feel like this pump is doing its job. You can see just the smallest amount of chlorine there. And this one also now literally just shipping the plor the purest, the purest chlorine available. I might even get my deconstruct tool out now and go and uh, wipe all this lot out. Yeah. Okay, I've been watching it. It's been shipping nothing but carbon dioxide, so this should be a nice, easy switch out now. Okay, beautiful. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Let's uh, make sure it all gets picked up, though. So I've noticed that we're running towards the end of the episode, so I did the smart thing of turning everything up onto a high priority over this side. We're going to try and get the water system start finished first, and then we're going to try and do this oil system down here. I'm just going to show up for a couple of episodes. No, not episodes. A couple of cycles, uh, and let these guys do their work. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm, I knew this would be an issue. I didn't think it would be an issue this soon. So all the chlorine has backed up and now this has got nowhere to send its next batch of chlorine. So we're going to have to actually figure out a better solution than what we've got. I Really, I just kind of want to liquefy it down and, and store it somewhere. But unfortunately, we don't have the uh, large storage for the gases. You can see we've done very little of the actual gas line over here. Maybe this is something we want to work on. That one, the gas reservoir, that's what I want. Okay, the only thing I've got is this canister filler. Maybe we want to do this. We'll pop one of these down here. We'll go for the gas bridge going over like that. I'm not sure if this needs anything other than what I've just given it. Hopefully that's it. And then we can just like, I don't know, store all the chlorine in a storage bin. Is that is that a thing that would work? I don't know. I'm going to try it though. Oh, good. We're done here. Nice, nice. Let's mop this up. Everything apart from the canister filler is in place. We're just waiting for the last few moments for Man Frank to build this together here. The, uh, the chlorine does actually still seem to be a bit of an issue around this area. I'm not sure if that's something we can actually work on at all. And now, is there a way in here to store some stuff? The answer there is no. Okay, I will uh, fix this problem by turning this pump off and then uh, hopefully we've got a bit more gas backup room there. Might be the case, might not be. We're gonna have to come up with a better solution though. Okay, we just got the liquid tuning and because I'm really struggling without it, I'm gonna get some heavy watt wire. I can't think of many, but I'm sure there's bigger wastes of misaligned time than getting her to run around in a wheel making power for this water reclamation system. If you can tell me what bigger waste of time would actually be, like, you know, still a little bit useful, but a massive waste of time, let me know. I want to hear what's the most, like, pointless use of a, a duplicate's time that actually has a use that you can possibly do out there. Um, we are waiting for water right now. It's a little bit of a shame, but we've got this up on the highest priority. You know what? I'm gonna, even going to go as far and say, hey, this is the top priority. Uh, Decipher should be coming along with some bowls. Here we go, beautiful. Taking all the polluted water. We've actually even got a little bit more up here. Taking all the polluted water, washing his hands on the way. I mean, good hygiene there. I'm all about it. And hopefully coming to put it straight on top of this little pump here. It's telling me there is no water at the moment. Oh, look, we get to clean it. Oh, oh, I've never I've never seen stuff go through the ore scrubber before. Like literally never. Let's uh, let's have a look because of course it was covered in um, food poisoning. So that th there we go. It's now not covered in food poisoning? Question mark. I mean, it's still covered in food poisoning. I, I believe it's because it is food poisoning. I, I don't know. We'll we'll find out. But we're going to drop some of it out. Hopefully the uh, the warm environment will do wonders for it. Uh, I don't know how to check that. Now everything instantly covered. Instantly covered. What is the temperature of my liquid pump here? Does it actually tell me? 24 and rising, falling, rising, falling, falling, definitely falling. But we, we will see. This whole area is going to warm up to the local environment temperature of uh, 44, hopefully, as long as everything goes well. Of course, that's not right at all, because we're about to dump some polluted water into a toilet. I don't know whether it will take this. Uh, just realised, did big bad, big bad. Uh, wrong element damage. Okay, that that's fine. First thing we're going to do is turn this off. Wait, stop. Uh, what we need to do is put the water, and I'll take some auto bottle in. Thanks very much. We'll let that run around instead. Okay, despite the fact that we fed polluted water in, we are getting some water out and it is being converted into regular water, which should then come through here, covered in uh, food poisoning, that's the one I'm looking for. But look, it gets all spread out and hopefully the all spread out will help it uh, lose some more germs. You're not bringing... Okay, cool, he was not bringing uh, dead water. We should probably turn the auto bottling back off now, but any water that does come through, we will take it here, thanks. In fact, let's put the the priority down because mostly we want the water going to the computer over here. So as far as I'm aware now, this will actually build up more and more water each time because the duplicates are taking uh, products from the food and converting it into water. So, you know, that that's the thing. This thing got totally broken with the amount of polluted water going in there, but I think we can live with that. There's a lot, there's a lot of aluminium ore out there. If we just let this pump through, it should hopefully work well. I can't actually see how, what the what the repair errand is at at the moment. No bar, look. I'm not convinced that's not bugged. Let's move Luna out and see if she comes back and gets go. Ah, it's, look, it's behind the, the thing there. Okay, that's, that's a little awkward, especially as this side doesn't appear to have any yellow in it at all. Hmm. Okay, immediately taking more wrong element damage, but I think we've got it through and into the right element. Okay, beautiful. Now, we've got just a very, very slightly broken toilet. No big problem there, though the water appears to be now building up, and this is... Oh, it's working beautiful, working beautiful. Over on the other side, uh, we've now got... 
all of this on the go. Uh, priorities are nine for the pump because, you know, I really want to get that rolling. Okay, for the sake of I have watched people going back and forth already through the uh, through the nasty stuff, we're going to put down a little bit of a wash base in here because obviously this this is where it is nasty. So uh, the green is out. That's fine. We'll do that, and then that goes up to there. Beautiful, beautiful. What happened? What? Ha One of my slicks are dead. Two of my slicks are dead. Why? What's going on? What's going on? Why? 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 I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Health is good. What? What happened? What happened? It couldn't have been the the age. They're way too young. Calories. They are starving. Ah. Oh. Oh. Quick. Let Let's get this down as fast as possible. Okay, I'm actually pulling misaligned into starvation to try and save this guy somehow, maybe. Calories still down rather low. Misaligned, what are you doing? No, 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 no. This this is the one that we need to have the priority on. Come on, someone, someone. All right, Decipher is working away there. Okay, that's that's good. How do we get misaligned out of starvation if she's just going to come down and do all this sort of work? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, man, we need a, uh, someone with a better errand skill there. Let's turn that off for now because Decipher is actually doing the work. That's no problem. Turn that off as well. Well, no, nine. Okay, okay. This this is a big problem. This is a big problem. <laughs> okay, do need to have that on. Okay, something I just learned. If I um, cycle through on a low priority, it will bring people with building skills. The moment I hit the yellow alert, it brings someone without a building skill. Unfortunately, Forrest isn't my best builder, but he, he's better than anybody else at the moment. So we will take that. Pull, uh, people are gonna die. P people are straight gonna die. Uh, waiting for the morning so I can turn the red alert off, but man, waiting, waiting for my boy Slickster here to die. No, it happened. It ha All right. Oh, ah, ah, bad times. Bad times. Not unfixable times, but bad times nonetheless. It's the middle of the day. Why is everyone sleeping? Well, I know why everyone's sleeping. It's because I worked them all night long. But, like, come on, guys. Come on. I'm going to put their, like, entire sleeping patterns out of order. I wonder whether they're now going to stay up all night or not. It's going to be an interesting one to see. People are waking up because they're hungry. Uh, well, I, I doubt it's just because they're hungry. But people are waking up for a variety of reasons now. Hopefully, get back on with this job over here. So sad. So, so sad. Well, with the death of all the slicks, I think I'm going to actually end up putting this little mini oil refinery on hold here. I'm going to actually carry on building it because it's good for the odd bit of vomit water that needs to be cleaned up. But mostly we've got all our water now being cleaned over here. We've kind of run into a bit of an impasse with the chlorine, but we can work out a way of fixing that at some point. And of course, because of that, the coal generator has rolled up to a little bit of a stop, but not too much of one. I'm going to see you guys next time when we are going to definitely work on these um, natural gas generators and the dig for the slicksters has indeed retensified and is about to get incredibly real but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye